All right, I didn't start recording until just now because I knew <laughs> something like that was going to happen. Yeah. I'm not going to take the time to do the editing. Welcome to the, un <laughs> the un-United States of America, what used to be America before the communists took over. Oh, those commies, man. Jesse, what are you doing in this in this new dystopia where Grandpa Joe is is supposedly <laughs> the president of the corporate states of America? The corporate states, dude. With just Janet Yellen being appointed to the the new treasury, I feel like XRP Ripple and no. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just happy that our treasury secretary is a gilf. Oh, <laughs> that's how you. Uh, no, you're either, either really drunk or really high. <laughs> no, I don't even think you could get drunk enough to make that. Well, you, I mean, whatever you, you guys have horrible taste, but uh, oh, horrible taste. I'm gonna say something. Yeah. The, um, yeah. I'm gonna say no. Not oh, everybody man. thinks that uh, she's a looker. I, I'd, I'd go down on her like the Fed rates have gone down. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh my god. That's... Shut up, shut up. Everyone shut up. I got him. Are we still supposed to be shut it up? Janet Yellen. More like Janet Yelling my name out. <laughs> God, that's... Uh... <laughs> Please keep this. Yeah, no, come here's on. here's the thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> it's just Janet Yellen. Oh, come on. Like superimposed over like Jessica Alba's body or somebody. I got him. Oh, good for you. Because I'm actually getting very tilted right now. Don't get tilted, man. Alright. Think of it as the who who is the blonde speaker? You don't have to build up around me, just there's no one here. Uh the blonde speaker? For for the Donnie T. The press secretary. Oh, uh, Kaylee McEnany. Yeah, she was like a six. No, that's that's John. Yeah, John, John. 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 Thank you. I got two people over here on me. These team. These people are whack. So a lot of people to shake down. Uh, one's running through the. Yeah, I'm gonna murder his friends. Got him. Nice. Ooh. I got splashies if we want to gang up. Hold on. I'm, I'm going in here to grab some stuff. Some stuff. Some drugs. A real quick fix. Yep. I, I just can't believe Dogecoin was a thing. I uh, Well, that... I thought it would be, but I got <laughs> fucked on it. <laughs> To the moon. <laughs> yeah, man, to the moon. Oh god. I went do I took Dogecoin like the moon, like the Challenger went to the moon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that was a good uh flight though, you know. Yeah. It's exactly my trajectory in the stock market. That's why I didn't invest. I'm I'm all about crypto baby. Holding you on to the you weren't allowed to. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna call that market manipulation and jump on the Dave Portnoy train and say uh, Robin Hood people should be in prison. I love Dave Portnoy. He's been going crazy about this. It's he, awesome. It well, cause he like really got into day trading during the yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's just like going at it with everyone, and yeah. like you know what? One bite, everybody knows the rules when it comes to <laughs> stock trading. One one buy, everyone knows. Everyone short, everyone knows the rules. <laughs> I'm just like happy that uh, it, it's so funny to watch these people like coming out of the woodworks or like uh, high profile go. names just like going up to bat for people. Uh, what you just marked, John? For Perp. Mark, there's the oh. box. Yeah. Box. All right. Jenny Allen's box. Oh God. It'd be like the baby. Oh, I forgot. I can't get in cars because there's a uh, copyright music. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> I I <laughs> literally so got like, in. I heard heard Kid Cudi, and I was like, "Oh, yep, yep, can't do this." Oh, oh, where's Rick? Thank you, YouTube's. Oh, hey, look, there's an XP token though. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, I see it. Day and night, 
what, what, I want, I want to get the feel Careful, right, right, careful. Right, right. You're getting, you're getting close. <laughs> yeah, getting close. I, I'm going to get banned for my, like, crappy cover. I thought covers have actual, oh, like. Oh, fuck, go, 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 oh, f
19 year old Jesse Sama um, uh, is a young man who had to move out of his home village in rural Japan for several reasons to go into the city where he is now a tech student at the University of Tokyo or Tokyo Institute, whatever the hell you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Um, he meets a young woman, girl, whatever you want to call it, um, by the name of... <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I really, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. Mm -hmm. right? uh, by the name of, uh, and uh, it's a working name, uh, Kayusan, uh, Kayuko, uh, something along those lines. Whatever you want to I call al it. I also have a whole bunch of Slurpees. Oh, sweet. I'll throw them at you guys. I ran away because we shouldn't all land on a small island. Yeah. Because uh, some people don't get anything. Alright. Um, uh, upon meeting this girl, uh, Jis uh, Jisaki finds out that uh, she is actually a witch who has magical powers. And it come he can also... Um, is revealed he had to leave his home village in rural Japan because he has many uh, exes who are kind of like chasing him uh, but it turns out uh, that they're actually like uh, a mixture of like demons and succubi and just like evil spirit creatures whatever you want to call it and they're trying to come after him so he happens to meet this girl who has all these like awesome supernatural abilities and she of course they start having feelings for one another and she has to teach him these like all these abilities and like powers to basically fight off all these like evil demons and spirits and whatnot uh, that are trying to come after him and uh, one like aspect like the meta of the world or the lore is uh, you can like have enchanted tattoos that give you special abilities. So Kaya already, because Kaya already is like covered in like awesome tattoos. She's like a total magical badass. Like she's like a high level like witch lady, I guess. Whereas Jesse has like at the beginning of the series has like a few like he starts getting like little tattoos and he thinks he's like a badass, but his powers are actually really crummy. But then they slowly become better as his like tattoos improve or like as he learns how to use his abilities more so for example like he gets his little like cat heart tattoo thing on him and he's like yeah i could summon like a super badass like cat monster thing that'll like help me battle these demons but like the cat is actually like a total like pushover but then slowly he like adds on to that tattoo and like learns how to control his abilities and then it gets like the way stronger so it's like a badass like super lion thing that like doesn't fight. like nine tails from naruto yeah, like yeah from tails naruto from um yeah that's kind of like the working concept that i have well you forgot then, you forgot the yakuza oh yeah so like one yeah. one, one story arc will be that like um uh, 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 uh kayaku uh has like a dark past oh and and Sorry. she and i'm getting there's like deep lore okay, okay. Kai, Kai, uh, Kai, kayaku has like ties to the yakuza and they come after her. and uh but in this world it turns out that the that the yakuza are actually vampires and because the kite the, the yakuza have like all those super badass like full body tattoos so they're like super magically like awesome and, like really really powerful so it turns into like a huge battle that they have to undergo <laughs> because they're just like super hard to beat i like so, yeah. that it's kind of a working concept but I like the idea that the Yakuza have tattoos because that's what makes them powerful. Yeah. It's a bit, um... All over the place? A little bit. Yeah, sorta. Like, okay, I see that as well. At least... Oh! Rick! <laughs> god, you guys are doing this again. You almost... Oh my god. I don't know what happened, that was weird. 
Uh, oh, God. Is Mega Bridge uh, happening? Where do, we go from here? where do we go from here? Oh, perfect, Hold perfect, on. perfect. Hold on. Oh, my God. No, they, no. they almost went off the right side of it. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm moving in because Mega Bridge, but. Yeah. Love oh. you. Oh, please don't die. Oh, you hit a tree. Oh, so what's your <laughs> Alright, well we could you guys shot at? We we could go yeah, try to help them. It. Okay. Okay. I had one idea that's gonna be really offensive, but only we would understand it. Okay, for, uh, the, the, the the no. It's not offensive, it's just like Yay. Nice. Someone's underneath the bridge, I just saw them. Under the bridge somewhere. Just let them die in the zone. Okay. Oh, well, you might have stuff. Can I take this, please? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's all yours. Guy's still right here. I wasn't, even, I wasn't even paying attention to zone shit. Yeah, Jesse and I both liked this idea. Fuck. I think you, uh, you need to work on your central conflict. I like that you choose it, though. I think that you could go with that. Oh, crap. Because, like, if I'm an alchemist, they have an end goal, right? Yeah. They have to, like, yeah. get their mom back or whatever. Yeah, that was kind of... That's... I, I agree that... It, Again, it's just a working concept. I don't really know. Where but wouldn't the there. wouldn't the ultimate conflict for them to be together without the threat of all of Jesse's ex girlfriends? But then that that's also riffing off of like Scott Pilgrim versus the World. I was sort of. I was wondering if it was because I haven't seen Scott Pilgrim, but like from what I remembered, I was like, isn't that similar? Yeah, it's it's similar. Kinda, but like this one, well, you could combine it with the Full Metal Alchemist thing where they're trying to get like i forget exactly what the storyline is where they're trying to they're trying to get, get... their mom back yeah but that like go. they meet up with all these like Holy... basically succubus people through yeah. the whole series yeah. that like aid them along their journey somehow so we pushing this one person the girlfriends could be a mean to another one the whole team i got one down